look who decided to steal my seat. <laughs> My name is Abby Roman. Welcome to my official YouTube channel. I cannot believe I'm officially starting this journey on YouTube. It's been something I've been wanting to do for so long. And uh, you know what? I'm doing it this year. So I'm going to be answering some of the questions that you guys have sent me as my Q&A that I posted on Instagram earlier this week. So let's get started. I when I was reading them is you know really just based off of what got me into my fitness journey and everyone wants to know about food macros that kind of thing so I guess I will start with my fitness journey um, so basically 2014 I was working at Joey in Markville so it's a restaurant I was a server and there was a regular who would come in and was like Abby you know you need to do a fitness competition you're very athletic in your general composition um, you know like you just need to do one so I'm like you know what, like I want to try something that was totally outside my comfort zone. So I decided, you know what the heck, I'm going to do one. So I did my first show August 2014. I did Fitness Star as my first one just to see how I liked it. And if I liked it, then I had already signed up to do an OPA show, I think two or three weeks later. Uh, so I did Fitness Star and I loved it. And I was like, oh my God, I just feel like I've really found my niche. And uh, since then, it's just been progressing from there. I did provincials and I qualified to do nationals and I've done nationals. I've done three national, Canadian national shows, and then I did the Arnold Amateur Classic this past year, and then also in October, the Ben Leader Legacy Cup, so it's the second Ben Leader. The first one was in Vancouver last year. Um, yeah, so basically, I just have been a very competitive person my whole life. I rode horses previously, so I always had that athletic background uh, in terms of being really competitive and, you know, like, just having that athletic edge. So when I did fitness, it was either going to be, I love it, or I'm going to just, you know, it's something I experienced and I gave it a shot. But uh, I loved how this sport, it, you know, it grows you so much more in terms of your self-growth. Um, you know, you learn so much about your body. Uh, you know, you meet so many amazing people. I have some of my closest best friends I met through competing. Uh, Y'all know who you are. <laughs> um, and uh, it's just been such an amazing journey. And I've just learned so much. And I'm just continuing to learn. I love learning things. Like, I just learned things about myself, helping people. Like I found the niche that was meant for me, you know? Like I never pictured myself as sitting at a desk kind of job. I loved communicating with people, I loved interacting with people, I loved doing activities, action, like that kind of stuff. So you know what, It my path in life really did bring me to my passion and I finally figured out, oh my God, this is what I'm meant to do, you know? Growing up I found so many of my friends and family, you know, you found, you found their niche and I was like, man, like what am I gonna figure out what's meant for my, like what I'm supposed to do with my life? And you know, maybe it might change 10 years from now, who knows? But Right now, I'm like, you know what? I really think that I was meant to help people achieve their goals in terms of their physique, their emotional self, um, just feel really empowered and confident in their own skin. And, uh, you know, nothing makes me happier than seeing my clients just really happy. And it just, it's such an amazing feeling when you can genuinely help people. Some more Q&As. Let's see what other questions. So someone asked, um, my favorite and least part of going through prep. So my favorite part about prep is I just love seeing the growth emotionally and physically and that mental strength improve every prep I've done. So it's just amazing to see like what you're able to be capable of doing. I guess the hardest part is, and the least favorite part is usually all my shows happen usually in the spring or summer or early fall. So it's, you know, always prepping during the summer. And at the same time, it's great because you look your best for bikini weather. Um, but at the same time, it's, you know, the least favorite part is when you're at these family functions and you have to like, you know, say, no, I can't have that or, you know, just be really diligent. Because with prep, you can't just half-fast. It has to be 110% or you shouldn't do it. Just because, you know, if you're going to put that time and effort in, you're going to go on stage. You want to make sure you're feeling your absolute best and you've put 110%. So you have no doubts when you're on stage that you didn't give it your all. So I guess my least favorite part is when you can't participate and in really enjoy foods and functions in the summer. Because that's when I, the time I usually prep. Um, and my favorite part is obviously meeting amazing new people. Every show I've done, I've met and become friends with so many more different amazing people. Um, and then also just the growth um, mentally that I get, like the strength that I achieve every prep is just, it's really empowering when you can see what you're capable of doing and seeing what your body's capable of doing and seeing that transformation, not just physically, but mentally and emotionally. So those are probably my favorite and least things. Hey, Will. Oh, buddy. <laughs> Um, let's do another question. Okay, so a lot of people have been asking about um, my food and diet and macros. So 
when I'm on prep, I always track my macros because you want to be able to see everything very precisely because, you know, you have to be very tedious in this sport when it comes to basically everything. <laughs> um, and on my off season, like, you know, I'll track sometimes, but I just try really like to follow mainly an 80-20 rule. 80% 80 of the time I eat really well, 20% of the time, you know, I indulge, I indulge in some treats, I go out for dinner, that kind of thing. Uh, but for me, obviously the last couple of weeks on the holidays, since I was prepping for the Arnolds last year, I didn't really get to enjoy Christmas and all the festivities and food. So this year I kind of went ham, <laughs> not gonna lie, but I've been, you know, not feeling guilty about it because I've really put that energy and those extra calories and extra food to good use during my training sessions and I've really had the best quality workouts I've had in so long. The pumps are real, the muscle contractions, everything has just been so great. So it's been exciting to see, you know what, in that little bit of a caloric surplus and maybe not feeling 100% comfortable in my own skin because I've like, you know, you know, Christmas and New Year's, they kind of mesh together when it comes to all that yumminess. Um, but I've been really having really good quality workouts and, you know, I'm just really utilizing this extra, you know, energy, this extra food, just so that I can, you know, make the improvements I need to, to bring my, you know, improved and my best physique for the 2018 season. Um, so in terms of macros, you know, with my protein, carbs, and fats, it varies. So I really just try to listen to my body. I put on muscle really easily. Like some of my coaches throughout my fitness journey have been like, Abby, you know, you can't put on muscle that quick. And like, I'm like, no, no, I put on muscle pretty quick. And they're like, oh my God, yeah, you really do. <laughs> so I have to be careful sometimes. So my protein, you know, it's varied from like 165 grams to 120 grams, depending on, you know, like how my body's responding. Fats, I've, my body really enjoys fats. And as a woman, it's really good for hormonal balance, keeping you full um, and that kind of thing. So my fats, you know, on the off season can vary between 70 grams, 60 grams on prep, you know, obviously it changes as well depending on what phase I am in my prep. Um, and then carbs, you know, I just kind of just try to see my body. Like I read it mainly visually. Sit well. Um, so usually, you know, it could be between 120 grams to 200 grams. So it just depends. So I don't really have like a set, this is my macros I follow. And you know, some fitness people have macros they follow off season. But for me, I just kind of try to do it as more, this is my time to experiment to see what works for me, what protocols, what macro balances work for me. And I read it mainly off of how I'm looking each day, how I'm feeling for my day, my energy, my mood, my recovery, all that kind of stuff. So I usually on my off season, again, it's that 80-20 rule and uh, also just intuitively eating. So try not to eat when I'm not hungry, try to eat when I am hungry. But you know, I'm not going to lie. Sometimes I just eat because, you know, I'm bored. So that's kind of that, that mix. But it's just making sure that everything is within reason and uh, I'm feeling comfortable and I'm feeling good and I kind of gauge it off of that. Um, so someone asked about the pros and cons of fasted cardio. So fasted cardio, I really, I obviously utilize that when I'm on my prep for my shows. Um, but even on my off season, sometimes if I'm, you know, I don't have time to do stuff in the afternoon or evening for my workouts and I have only time in the morning, you know, and I'll just do a really good fasted workout and then just have my breakfast right after. And that also like, you know, that really does help with keeping myself in some sort of regime, but then allowing me to utilize the rest of my day. So Fasted cardio, the idea is because you haven't had eaten anything um, prior to your workout, you're tapping into your fat storages and uh, utilizing your glycogen that's been stored overnight, which is what's in your muscles, your sugars, that kind of thing. Um, but you know what, at the end of the day, everyone has their own opinion on fasted cardio, It just kind of whatever works for you. So sometimes people find doing their cardio post-workout that's more low intensity, steady state is more optimal. Um, it just kind of depends off of how you're feeling, your energy levels in the morning, if you're dreading waking up and doing fasted cardio for whatever your fitness goals are, and you have a more enjoyable experience when you're doing it at the gym midday after your workout, then do what makes you feel good. At the end of the day, don't just do something because someone else is doing it. You got to do what makes you feel good. And obviously, like if you have a fitness goal in mind, it is great to implement some fasted cardio. That's what I like to do. But again, it's whatever works for you, what your coach says, what your body responds well to. Um, so I personally find there's no pros and cons to cardio in the morning fasted. It just depends off of how you feel, uh, how your body responds, and what's conducive for your schedule. Again, so a lot of everyone's been asking is about diet. Um, hopefully I answered a lot of those questions for that. Um, and then obviously my fitness journey and what my goals are for 2018. So my goals for 2018, mainly, you know what, I'm just trying to get into a new flow. So I'm, you know, I just finished my vision board. So I'm super excited about that. Uh, maybe I'll share it in a you know, future YouTube video. Um, but just mainly, you know, I want to continue to just have this time to travel more, continue to grow my networks, um, you know, just get into a good regime, continuing to help all my current clients, and then also have that time to do more expansion in terms of my online training business, as well as one-on-one. -on -one. 
Uh, so you know what, just trying to continue to grow my brand and my business and you know, just enjoy life a little bit. I've been working so hard when I competed with my equestrian stuff. You know, I sacrificed a lot from my competitions. Same with fitness. So I'm like, you know what, I'm really excited to take this year on as an opportunity to really grow in every aspect of self-development, in terms of traveling, in terms of reconnecting and connecting more with people around the world that I've met through social media and just really, you know what, having the opportunity to just see where things go. I kind of want to do something that's more free spirit. Um, and that's that. All right, guys, so that's it for today. Um, if you guys have any more questions for me, you know, DM me on Instagram, comment below. Uh, and if there's anything in particular that you want me to continue to address or go over, please let me know. I'm happy to, you know, cater to what you guys are looking to see and do. Um, I'm going to be including, obviously, some nutrition stuff, vlogs, workout stuff, fitness. Um, when I'm prepping for another competition, I'll be including that. So I'm going to be covering a lot of different things within my channel. Um, but if there's anything in particular that you personally want me to, to cover, please let me know. And um, welcome to the 18.